is the Church of Scientology so afraid of? This, this is SPTV. Welcome back, everybody. We have some really, really good news. Um, what I would consider to be uh, a success story for SPTV as a whole, and, and that means that means everyone. That means all. All the people who are out there um, putting up content, talking about their Scientology experience, helping expose the Scientology abuses, uh, whether you call yourself SPTV or not, it really doesn't matter. We're all doing the same thing. So let me share this thing with you, you guys. Um, many of you know, yesterday afternoon, I uploaded a video, the title of which was Mike Rinder has advanced cancer. And I was sharing with everyone, I guess I'll change the view here real quick. I was sharing with everyone a... Um, a blog post that Mike's wife, Christy, did uh, announcing uh, announcing what a handful of us have known for a little bit now, which is that Mike, Mike Rinder's been uh, diagnosed with advanced stage cancer, and she shared um, some of the information regarding treatment options. And the video that I put up was um, uh, a request, an encouragement for people to go to Mike Rinder's blog and to donate directly on the click here to donate button. And the substance of yesterday's video was that the insurance companies had declined coverage of the treatment that the doctors said was the best, most effective recommended treatment for Mike. And that there were still programs in place, you know, various options uh, that could be pursued to get some um, maybe some uh, extraordinary approvals or some exemptions or some maybe an allowance from the pharmaceutical company itself, which ironically is Eli Lilly. If you know anything about Scientology, you'll understand how funny that is. That Eli Lilly is the manufacturer of the targeted treatment that uh, is what doctors have recommended will be most effective for Mike's condition. And so um, I'm trying not to be too long-winded with my intro here. So the the the, the, the crux of the matter was if, if, the, if the cash to pay for the out-of-pocket cost of this treatment was available, nobody would have to sit around waiting for exemptions or approvals or this is or that. And, and the idea was, let's just raise the money. Let's just get the money together. And I said, you know, the SPTV audience is pretty big and it's pretty dedicated and it's pretty committed to the cause. And, um, and everyone knows how valuable Mike Rinder is to the entire movement. And I said, I bet we can, uh, the drug costs $22,000 a month. Um, and I said, I bet we can raise enough money today for this. Now, look, I don't know the exact dollar value that we raised. It feels a little rude for me to ask. I'm not going to ask. But I do know that combined with what, with what we raised yesterday, combined with what I understand is over 500 people who purchased the Team Mike blog from Mike's merch store, Christy, Mike's wife, has announced that um, they've decided to move forward with the treatment. So here, let me just share it with you guys. Um, that was kind of a long intro. I just wanted to, <laughs> what I really wanted to do is just read the blog post for you. So here we go. Dear friends, Mike and I want to thank you so much for the flood of messages of love, support, and encouragement that we have received since the announcement a couple days ago. Many of you have also shared your cancer survivor stories, and those have been so uplifting. I'm sure you'll understand that it is not possible to thank everyone personally. Thousands have reached out. Every single one of you is appreciated, and we feel your love. It is inspiring. Many of our friends generally, generously offered to help us financially. We declined while working on a solution to fund the necessary targeted treatments, and we're still very hopeful our application will will be approved, but it takes time. The cancer and blood mutation is extremely rare. Mike's doctor cannot tell us exactly how long he will need to take the medication, but once started, it needs to continue for the duration. Our friend Aaron Smith-Levin took it upon himself to post a YouTube video yesterday asking viewers to donate to help. He directed people to the donate button here on Mike's blog. We had no idea he was going to do that. Mike and I are overwhelmed by the outpouring as a result. I did tell you guys that Mike didn't ask. I did tell you guys. <laughs> um, because of your support, we felt comfortable going ahead and starting the targeted therapy that Mike needs to address the driver of the cancer. We know the enormous power of the community that stands behind us, and we're not alone in this fight. Leah, Mark, Claire, Aaron, Yashar, Amy, Tony, and anyone else we've missed who've used their platforms to encourage support, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. To everyone who has donated and sent words of encouragement, please accept our heartfelt thanks for your love, care, and support. Your kindness has touched us in ways that words cannot fully convey. 
All of you have brought immense comfort and relief and have made a huge impact. We are eternally grateful. Love, Christy and Mike. Um, guys, uh, in the description of the video down below, and I'm sure it's being posted in the, in the live chat as well, uh, in the description, I'm going to put a link to Mike's blog and also to the merch store. People love merch, you guys. Over 500 people bought this mug that Clara designed and, um, and, and Mark and Claire posted to Mike's merch store. That is incredible. That is incredible. And, uh, you know, um, uh, Christy made a, a comment there that um, uh, it's actually not known what the duration of the, the whole course of therapy would be. And, you know, I, I think, it, it, I don't know, it's probably reasonable to, con to conservatively estimate that it probably wouldn't be less than 12 months. And, um, and I say, uh, so what? That's okay. Even if it's 40 eight months. Um, you know, the fact that, um, with all of your support, we were able to rally together and, and give, uh, get them what they needed to start treatment in one day. You know, we could do videos every day if needed. We could do every week, every weekend, and we could do video a thons. Like it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. We're going to do whatever needs to be done. And, um, and so one thing, remember, I, one of the things I said in the video yesterday is that I, I think they were told up front that they could start treatment, uh, but they'd only be approved for like two weeks of therapy. Well, I mean, we've just acknowledged it's probably going to be at least 12 months of therapy needed. And they said, once you start, you cannot stop. And that's why treatment has been postponed because the insurance companies have declined it. Um, the, the other, uh, you know, avenues that they can pursue, they're still waiting for resolution. Will it be a yes? Will it be a no? It's, it's all a big maybe. And so that's why I'm saying I'm guessing that we probably raised close to $20,000 yesterday because that was what was needed. That's, that's what it costs for one, one month of therapy. And so the idea here is that they're going to start on what's already the covered two weeks because they have enough now to know that at the end of those two weeks, they will either hear back whether their requests to the, um, what I'm assuming is the drug company itself, have been approved or not. And if it's approved, great, then they're fine. And if it's not approved, then that's okay. They at least have what they need for the first month. I think that's a safe assumption um, to make there. And guys, it's just such a huge success story for the community. I just, I just can't get over it, honestly. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I know I tend to go into things being very optimistic and, and uh, you know, always hoping for the best. But um, the fact that we were actually able to do it as a community is just, man, it really means it really means a lot. Um, OK, so let me just uh, jump over to the comments and we'll wrap this up for now. By the way, I, I still do encourage people to keep donating. Um, uh, it, it can't hurt. And um, and even if even if I do get an exact figure of what was raised, I probably won't announce that at this point. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'll, I'll let you guys know what's going on. Okay. Terry Ray says, thank you for keeping us updated. I know this is a private matter and we want to respect the Winders, uh, Rinder's wishes. Yes, that's very true. Tarkina Meyer, PSA for everyone. Get your annual screenings. Breast cancer, prostate cancer can be cured if found early. Continued prayers for Mike. Yes. Thank you so much, Tarkina. Um, Sienica, get video, get well card for Mike. 10 to 15 seconds on your phone. Landscape side to side. Send to Denver Stevo by June 16th for premiere on June 26th. Oh wow, that's that is really sweet. There you go, guys. So go ahead, get get your get your video get well cards from Mike. Send it into Denver Stevo. Um, Anthony Beal. I knew the SPTV savages would come through. Indeed. Lisa Robinson. Donate to Mike on his blog. There you go. Helps to repeat the message. Kelly Copter. Yes, this community is amazing. Hashtag Team Mike. Um, always good to see you, Kelly. Yeah, and we did a fantastic. We had an awesome Monday night panel last night with Liz Gale and Kelly Copter and, uh, and Doug Kramer. Um, it was a lot of fun, you guys. I'm looking forward to doing it again soon. Uh, Russ Hampton. Could Mike's cancer come from being on the flag boat? <laughs> Hashtag everyone donate. We love you, Mike. Russ, I think the boat that you are referring to is the free wins boat. Uh, that's been widely reported to be absolutely 
it was chock full with blue asbestos. Um, you know, uh, cancer could come from anything. I, I, I hate to speculate. Uh, you know, smoking is a huge, my, Mike's not a big smoker now, but he used to be. Um, I, I, Mike did spend a lot of time on the free wins, but I, I would never, uh, I would never, um, venture to to say that the reason for the condition is is the free ones also realize that christy has shared there's some particular um gene mutation in mike's blood that's the driver of the cancer i think that's unlikely to have come from exposure to blue asbestos but what do i know guys i grew up in a cult um and the other thing is that i do believe and you know i'm 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 uh, i'm i'm in over my head on this uh but I think there is, you know, I, I do believe that genetic predisposition to various conditions is just a huge driver of these things as well. And I think that's why, you know, certain genes, um, you know, some of this stuff is hereditary. Uh, but anyway, you know, I'm just, we're just, we're just talking about theoretical stuff here. Nobody really knows the answer to that, Russ, but thank you. Um, thank you for the super chat. Much appreciated. Pat Shore, um, if he needs more, you just let us know and we'll be on it. Mike, you need to fight the fight of your life and you will beat this. Anything we can do to help, let us know. Indeed, the community is here to do whatever we can. Uh, Sarah asks, this is what Scientology couldn't dream of doing. Yeah, that's one of the things we mentioned on the Monday night live stream last night is that, you know, this is something that would never happen in Scientology. Scientologists as a community do not rally uh, around uh, a member, a fellow member in need. I know it seems so counterintuitive, like hell, isn't that what religious communities are for? Yeah, in general, yes. Scientology is no effing religious community. Uh, it's a bunch of self-interested, um, egotistical people while we're, you know, doing what's best for themselves. Um, it's literally literally frowned upon it would be literally frowned upon looked down upon people would be pulled aside and spoken to harshly perhaps in, in a hushed tone of like what are you doing this isn't this is off purpose this is a distraction um this is dev t uh this is spreading n theta this is out ksw this isn't the purpose of this isn't the reason for orgs uh, yeah, if there was a Scientologist who needed some particular life-saving therapy and it was expensive and somebody was going around to various Scientology communities trying to crowdfund support for that person, it would be looked down upon. And I hope that's one thing that, um, you know, you under the radar Scientologists who watch this channel, I know you're out there and you Office of Special Affairs Sea Org members, I hope this is just one thing that, you know, maybe slips through the armor that you've got up. Well, for you under the radar guys, I, I know your, your armor is already down, but it's like, just realize if you, you, you guys under the radar guys in the Scientology community, if you needed help, your Scientologist wouldn't help you. But if you came out here into this community, you would get that help. Uh, let that sink in. <laughs> um, rock it out with Kim D. Hi, Mike and Leah. Aftermath season three, episode 101 with the Jehovah's Witnesses. Led me out of Mormonism. Wow. I saw it on Netflix in 2020. I support SPTV. You know, uh, believe it or not, that is one of the only episodes of the Aftermath show that I've never seen. <laughs> and now that Aftermath isn't on Netflix anymore, I don't even know how to see it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really, I, I hope to see that episode one day. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, Kim D. Hi, Cat Maggie. Uh, just a reminder, there's a monthly donation option on Mike's blog. He's going to need this for a bit. Yes. And, and look, um, yes, uh, I mean, obviously do the monthly donation option, uh, more, the better, more, the better, more, the merrier. Uh, but the moment anything else is needed, you guys are going to hear about it. You guys are going to hear about it on all the SPTV channels. Um, as, as often as is necessary. That's, that's the power of the network. That's the power of the platform. Um, RV at the beach, surprised it was that low. Come on, people. Oh, RV at the beach, I don't know what it was. For, I mean, hell, it could have been 50K. I have no idea. I don't know. I'm only being conservative. I mean, I, I, that's all. I, I know that if I was in Mike and Christie's shoes, I would be nervous about moving forward unless we already had what we needed to start the first months of therapy. So I'm not actually trying to make actual representations for what the, what the real amount was. Um, oh, unless you're talking about the 500 people who ordered the mug, in which case 500 is a shitload of people ordering a mug. Um, Jessica White, if ever, if ever, oh, if every, if every person on this live right now would donate $20 a month, that would pay for Mike's treatment for the foreseeable future. That is true. 
That is true. You can do the math a number of ways. Thank you, Jessica. Destiny Salazar, so thrilled to get the update today. Also, Apostate Alex and Clearwater Chad are pledging a month of YouTube earnings. Uh, let's help them out. Team Mike, blah, blah, blah. Well, there you go. Um, Alice, uh, 1704, please announce what we raised. Um, if I can, I will, I'll tell you what, if I get the number and I get permission to give the number, I'll be happy to do so. But otherwise I feel like it's, um, mostly not totally my business. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Please announce what we raised. Pl uh, people love goals. It's true. People do love goals. And then we can be even more aggressive. I hope we get to a hundred thousand. I adore y'all and know Mike can overcome this. Yep. No, I mean, look, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. I just don't want to overstep. That's all. Um, the Unitologist, it already meant a lot to me to see the SPTV logo I made being used across the entire network. Did you do the MTV logo? Um, but to see it used on a mug that is benefiting Mike in this way is really touching. Okay, Unitologist, can you just uh, email me at growinguppinscientology at gmail.com? Uh, I just want to know which logo you made because I've been wanting uh, to, I couldn't remember, I couldn't find who made the MTV logo and if it's a different logo that you made well just let me know because now i really want to know um that that's really awesome that's really awesome uh g says so sad to hear the news but glad to show my support with all the other sbtv viewers been watching silently for years there's so many of us hashtag team mike absolutely and thank you so much g class five just wish mike full recovery heartfelt wishes from the most suppressive country germany yes germany the whole the first suppressive country thank you so much uh class five not a sheeple. I will continue to donate. Can you please add the four caricatures to a t-shirt? I wear 3X. I could have sworn I did that. Not a sheeple. But just so that I don't forget, let me um, put it right down on my merch. Four characters on, on a t-shirt. All right. Um, if it's not there, I'll... I'll I'll definitely get it up. Uh, thank you, not a sheeple. Um, Kelly O'Hara. Kelly O'Hara. Kelly, Kelly O'Hara. Waiting for the disgusting Scientology statement insinuating Mike got cancer because he didn't finish the bridge. Stay strong, Mike. We're rooting for you. Yeah, yeah. We're all sort of waiting to see whether Scientology is going to make an absolute fool of itself by issuing some sort of a shitty comment about Mike. And, uh, and I'm kind of hoping that they do because I want to humiliate them with it. So fingers crossed, everyone. Uh, Lulu92, if you have GERD or reflux, please see your doctor as it is a risk factor for esophageal cancer. I'm assuming GERD is an acronym for something that I, is it, uh, is that acid reflux, GERD? I don't want to look it up. I don't want to look it up. But guys, if you have GERD or reflux, please see your doctor as it is a risk for esophageal cancer. Uh, okay, Batgoat, big applause for Chad. He's been stepping up on fundraising. Absolutely. Chad's been doing a fantastic uh, job. That's Clearwater Chad, everybody. And uh, if you're not subscribed to Clearwater Chad's channel, you can find him at Clearwater Chad. <laughs> All right, Kirk Cohen. No, 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 that's not right. Conan, Kirk Conan. Please donate directly to Mike's blog. YouTube takes 30% cut of any Super Chat donations. Yes, totally true. And that's why, that's why the emphasis in yesterday's video was um, to go right to Mike's blog. Uh, but the, 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 the URL for Mike's blog is mikerindersblog.org. <laughs> if you just search Mike Rinder blog, you, you can't miss it. Um, yeah, because uh, YouTube takes a cut of everything. There's no reason um, not to just donate it directly to Mike. It's the best way to go. Uh, Mary Hannah Stites. Mary Hannah Stites, thank you for the super sticker. So anyway, this was just a really bit of good news, a good news update. I know everyone doesn't read blogs, so I wanted to share the news with you on a video. And uh, and stay tuned, guys. By the way, I mean, separately, uh, total, uh, no, I'll save that for later. All right, you guys. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks to everyone who watches until the very end, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see an, a different one of my videos, uh, then you could click right inside here. If you have subscribed or not, subscribe right.